performance by Goitam against Sporting Kansas City. And as I did mention in the open, I think it's very important that those two try and start brightly this evening as well against the impact. Underway, it's Dodd Saputo. Sean Francis a step slow. There's the service in. There's the header, but David Bingham easily there to grab it. As the hundred dollars has been raised this year. Thank you to the Bay Area BMW centers for supporting schools in our community. Glad you could join us on a Wednesday afternoon, late afternoon back in the Bay Area. Still bright early here in just the fourth minute. It's nice to see them trying to fight each other. There's a the little touch on Goitzen, but nice to see Wanda Lasky looking sharp and trying to get across the defender. Fans settling in here. They average about 20,000 at Stad Saputo. Wondolowski, that ball leaked through. Three in front. And we'll have an offside. Has a lot of history here in Montreal. 16 years at the lower division. Montreal Impact. Leader in goals, appearances. Arwin Seren was making a run to the top of the 18. Quintero. And San Jose back to big Victor Bernardes. John France was against Sporting Kansas City where the quick release of the pass has to happen. Sometimes they're having too many touches in there, the midfielders for the Quakes. And Kosu. That's what tried it. We've already seen a few instances where the Quakes string the passes together just on the edge of the attacking third. Play fairly well on the road. It's at home where we're having the difficulty. Coming up with the goals, not having those mental breakdowns on the back line late in games. And San Jose scrambling back. Well, I think the city, but it, it's one of those situations where you look at the work that's going on there to win the ball back by both Seren and then Quintero, and then the ball that comes into the penalty it just isn't the right crop. Piatti again. And Kosu on his right foot. There's a shot, but Bingham is there. Now Oduro follows up and scores. See, they were creating as many problems for Montreal as Montreal was, was causing for them. But that was uh, building. You see, he was building. The, the impact was starting to win things in this area with Donadell and all. One pass to Piatti at midfield. Periali stepped into the passing lane. Yeah, here's Ayungo trying to go up 2 0 for Montreal. There's the shot with Bingham. There for the save. It comes out to Mancosu. Ayungo on the near side, or Duro on the far side, causing tonight. Here's another veteran, Bernier. Finding Mancosu, Ayungo. He's looked very sharp in this match. Oski nudged off the ball. And we talked about what the Quakes need to do defensively. For the first time tonight, it looks like they were able to connect the passes and finally get but took a deflection in front. I don't think Hennick got much on that one at all, if at all. Surrend battling Bernier. Good pressure. Deep in Montreal territory, resulting in a near opportunity for Tommy Thompson. Victor Bernard has whistled here. And gives it right away. Piatti. And Kosu looking for Shep. There's Piatti! But take a look at that Vancouver match. It's a 2 o'clock start, originally scheduled for 4 o'clock, but we'll have all four of those matches, the remaining matches for the Earthquakes, for you. As has Simon has played for Bruges, you've got Donadell who's played in the past for Milan and Fiorentina. Got some experienced players out there, not only the players like Piatti and Drogba as well. Piatti working against Seren. He's got Mancosu. On the ball just past midfield and now ship with Bingham coming out and he does get there 
and now has to race back. And Bush able to get there. They like to see more of that from Tommy. Get some space. That's what he needs to do. I think it's an opportunity for Tommy Thompson on the big stage to show that's big time for a rookie in Major League Soccer. Win by Seattle tonight. Could move them into a tie for the sixth and final playoff spot with Portland. But on victories, it'll be would be the 12th for Quintero's more on the left and Tommy Thompson more on the right. That change was made about 30 minutes into the first half. And Tommy Thompson started to get on the ball a little bit more effectively. And I think Dominic. But I think Bush got a hand on it and punched it out. It was a much better ball by Sean Francis. Of course, there's some problems with Evan Bush. I was just going to say there's no movement for the Quakes. As the Quakes sort of push into that final for a little bit more. Kamara, the yellow card in minute 50. Behind, yeah. But he... Gift is proud to be an official gift card provider of the San Jose Earthquakes. Gift makes gift cards easy. Use the gift app to buy at Taylor's. To download the gift app, visit getgift.com. Mancosu, he's got ship. Mancosu trying to drop it off in front. Didn't get the touch he wanted at the end, and it pops right up to David Bing, those three-point bundles. And to do so here tonight will require some second-half heroics. They've started the second half much brighter. It's for something that nearly broke for Goitam. Pass intercepted. But one back. Earthquake's doing a good job to eliminate that counter. And with his speed and experience for the last 20 minutes of the game. But hey, this goal has just changed everything here in this match here. I thought that Baro Biello has been very negative in the way he's approached the second half. He's had it. Is he trying to hold on to a 2-1 lead in the... 65th minute, strange decision at home for a team that dominates so much in the first half. Give it right away. Quintero. This player on the field, possession-wise in the first half, just gives the ball away for no reason at all in Donadella. Nekosu, forward for Piatti. Stride for stride with Victor Bernardes. Victor win. A defender. And it looks like Cordell's going to play much higher here. Well, I thought that Dominic would be on Cordell Cato. Right hand side with Godoy, I think, you know, he hasn't played for a while, and it's important to make sure that he is available for the remaining games as well. And if you're, if you're a man closer, you're coming off and you're going, I haven't really done a lot wrong tonight, but you're also looking at the across of the field and you're seeing.